seeing? Yes, Mark. All right, perfect. So you are here for the Japanese position. Can you please walk me a little bit on your resume? Mm -hmm. Especially in the part that's related to teaching Japanese to foreigners. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am Gao, so I have worked. Uh, I have worked in Japan for three years and was able to pass JLPT and two level of the Japanese language. So I came back here in the Philippines um, way back 2018. And on 2019, I started teaching at Tensei Philippines. So I teach engineering students um, mm -hmm. who are bound to work in Japan because Tensei Philippines has their mother company in Japan. So I worked uh -huh. there until September and then transferred here in our province and work as a part-time Japanese language instructor. So I teach um, diverse um, students from 12 years old to 50 years old. So okay, I do right. mostly, yes, Paul, I, I usually do one-on-one -on -one teaching. And in mm -hmm. just a span of four, four months, I, I entered Sivas July. And by December, I was awarded as one of the top language instructors of the Sivas national level. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I saw, I saw it in your resume, yes. I saw you have many, many awards and it all expands your career. Uh, tell yes. me something, what is the area age that you can teach, the youngest? The youngest I have taught was 12 years old. Well, yes, can you teach younger students, younger than 12, like say six, seven years old, will be okay with you? Yes, it will be okay for me, but um, um, if ever that I will be given that task, um, I, I I believe that I have to have a different approach when it comes to what type of student that I am going to teach. Of course, of course, that is definitely correct. That is totally correct. You cannot teach a seven years old the same way you're going to teach me. Yes, yes. yes. Or 15 or the age bracket that we have. That's totally yes. Okay, so now I am going to be your student. I don't speak yes. any Japanese. So you're going mm -hmm. to teach me some Japanese today. I am all Japanese. Yes. Okay. yes. So good afternoon. I am Gao Sensei and I am a registered nurse and a JLPT N2 holder. So for today, um, I will be your teacher for the Japanese language. So before we start, may I know the reason why do you want to study the language? Uh, because I really like Asian languages. You know, I'm from Peru and I studied Mandarin before. I learned some Tagalog. I mm -hmm. uh, I'm very fascinated always with Asian languages. Yeah, so it's general culture for me. Thank you very much. So why did I ask that? Because I want to know your goal. I want to know your purpose. Mm -hmm. So that I want to know what track are we going into. So if you want to learn more of this, more of that, I want to know what do you want to learn because I want to devise a specific syllabus for you mm -hmm. as a student. So mm -hmm. um. So can I start now my discussion? Please, please, if you have, you? if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask me. Sure. Okay. So first is, I have here a presentation for you. Mm -hmm. So this is Gaudan Shatanasho Sado, my name. Mm -hmm. So for today, we will be studying about self-introduction mm -hmm. and some basic um, Japanese um, expressions. So right. for today, I have prepared five grammar notes for you. We have noun one wa, noun to this, which will be explained mm -hmm. later. Noun one wa, noun to ja arimasen. Noun mm -hmm. uh, the sentence and the use of particle ka. Noun one wa, na mo, and to this. And the last one would be noun one no noun two. So all of this, this will be um, discussed to you later. But before that, um, have you received the email that I have sent you? The vocabularies that we are going to use? No. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. So let's just have a quick review. I know that you okay. already know how to study, um, how to read hiragana. So let us practice. So we read this as wa, ha, ha, shi. shi. Watashi. 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 Watashi means I. Okay? I, I, yes. Watashi. I, yes. I. Next is ga. Ga. Ku. Ku. Se. Se. I. 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 Gakusei. Gakusei. Very good. So gakusei means student. Okay. Next we have sha. Sha. And in. In. So, shain. 
Shine. Okay, thank you very much. So, Shine means employee. Okay, next vocabulary, we have uh, no. Uh, no. Hito. Hito. Uh, no. So, okay, very good. So, ano hito means that person. That person. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ano hito means that person. Ano yes. Okay. Yes, very good. So, next we have tare. Tare. Dare, or sometimes dare. in polite Japanese language, we use donata. Donata. Yes, so donata. dare and donata has the same meaning, which means who. Who? 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 Uh, oh. What is the difference between the use or formal, informal, or what? Okay, so donata, we use this in a formal conversation compared in, with that. Informal. Informal is dare. We use, ah, yeah. informal is. Dare. Dare. Formal is donata. donata. Yes, donata. thank you very much. Thank okay. you. So next we have here, Philippine. Philippine. So Philippine, of course, um, from what it sounds, it sounds like the Philippines. Mm -mm. So yes. Philippine is Philippine. And then we add Jin. Jin means person to, um, to say the nationality. Okay, oh. so when we say Philippine Jin, we say that means Filipino. In my case, if I'm Peruvian, how do I say my nationality? So we say the country, which is Peru, and then we add Jin. So Peru Jin. Peru Jin. Hi. So this. Hi. Okay. Next we have Ha Ji ha, me, me Ma Ma Chi Chi Te. So ha, ji, me, ma, shi, te. Uh, so this is, okay, Hajime very good. So ha, yes, very good. So hajime mashte means how do you do? So, so this ne. So hajime mashte is what we usually um this is what we use when we introduce ourselves. So we start with hajime mashte. How do you do? Okay, followed by we have here. Okay, try to read this. We have do. Mm -hmm. So this is right. That's dozo. 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 So this name. Okay. Dozo. Next is. Okay. This is yo. Yo. I, I cannot see. There's. Uh... Oh, maybe it's me. Aha. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yo. 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 Ro. Shi. And then the next character yo, is. Shi, ku. Okay, very good. So, dozo yoroshiku. Okay, let's try again. Okay, very good. Dozo yoroshiku. Okay, next we have. Oh. Okay, next we have me. 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 Ga. Onega. Shi. Ma. Very long, huh? <laughs> mm, yes, ma'am. So this is right. That's onegai shimas. Onegai shimas. Okay, very good. So let's so try again. The last one you don't pronounce. No, you we don't pronounce the su. So it becomes a silent. It's silent. silent. Okay, yes, it's like the Asian okay. Spanish. You, you draw it, yes. but you don't say it. Okay. And the yes. shi, so, you don't actually say shi, you say shi. So onegai yes, shimas. Shimas. Ah, sorry. Onegai Onegai shima. Onegai shima. Okay, very good. So let's try and let's try again. Dozo yoroshiku. Dozo Onegai shimasu. Onegai shima. Dozo okay, yoroshiku. very good. Onegai shima. Okay, dozo yoroshiku onegai shimasu means please to meet you. So please that's what yes, Paul. That's what we say after we introduce ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just have a quick review. When starting to introduce yourself, we say hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. And then after it, okay, very good. And then after mm -hmm. introducing yourself, we say do yo do yo onegaishima. Okay, let's try it slowly. Dozo. Dozo. <laughs> yoroshiku. Yoroshiku. Onegaishimasu. 
Okay, very good. So um, there's no need for. Okay, so there's there's no need for us to speak fast as long as we pronounce the word correctly. Okay, uh, so it's okay. still a learning process. So I understand. I have been there in that position. Okay, so dozo yoroshiko onegashimas means please to mm-hmm. meet you. Okay, next we have. So what character is this? This is. Do. And then the other one. Ko. So doko. Doko means where. Where. Doko. Doko. Okay. Doko means where. Next we have. Mm-hmm. Doko, Doko, that means where. Yes, very good. So in Japanese, it's like um, it's like uh, the same with the other languages. When we ask questions, we have a rising intonation. Doko. Mm. Doko. Okay, very good. Next, we have... Ka. Ka. Ka, ya. Ra. So, kara. Kara. Kara, very good. And then, the next character mm. is... Ki. Ki. Ma. Ma. Kaya ki ma. Shi. Shi. Ta. Ta. Okay, just like what we've said a while ago, there is no need for us to pronounce she as it mm-hmm. is, but with she. she. Mm-hmm. So, kimashita. 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 Kara shimashita. Okay. Oh, kara shimashita. So, kara shimashita means came from. So, for example, I am from Naga. So, I will say Naga kara Kimashita. Naga. Are you okay? Kara. Mm. Kara kimashita. So that means okay. I'm from Naga. Lima. So how kara about you? Lima kara oh. kimashita. It's kara kimashita. Ki. Ah, kara kimashita. Hmm. So kara let's try kimashita. another one. Okay, very good. That kara kimashita. Uh, okay, thank you. Mm. Okay, so that's the vocabulary that we are going to use for our whole session. Mm-hmm. So let's have a quick review. Mm-hmm. Watashi means Watashi. hi. Hi. Okay. Gakusei means Gakusei. Gakusei student. Okay, very good. Next we have Shayin. Shayin means Shayin employee. Okay, very good. Next, we have Anohito. Oh, do you still remember? Anohito. Anohito. Means? Not that person. That person. Anohito. Anohito. That means that person. Okay, next, we have Dare or Donata, dare which means? Who? Who? And then we have Philippine Jin, which Philippine means Jean. Filipino. Filipino. Okay, and okay, very good. Hajime maste means. Hajime maste. How do you do? How are you? Okay, very good. Dozo yoroshiko onegaishimas means. Dozo yoroshiko onegaishimas. <laughs> okay, let's try it slowly. Dozo so yoroshiko onegaishimas. Onegaishimas. Okay, very. Onegaishimas. That means pleased to meet you. And we have doko, which means doko, where. And then last one, karakimashita means karakimashita came from. Okay, very good. So, um, I am the type of teacher who always wants to give an evaluation exam. Mm-hmm. So here, good. so from hiragana, you have to write the English meaning of each word. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So. Uh, may I start now our discussion proper? Sure. Okay, thank you very much. So, Nihongo is very easy topic. Why? Sentence pattern is given, and we only have to um, change the vocabulary that we are going to use. So, for the first pattern, we will study noun one wa, noun two noun. des. Okay. Okay, this is read as wa. And wa is the topic marker. Mm-hmm. 
of the sentence. So, for example, I want to talk about Maria. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about Maria. All I have to do is attach particle what. Then now, Maria becomes the topic or the subject of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Are we clear? Mm -hmm. Do we have questions? No. So, so to make the sen yes, to make the noun a topic, what do I need to add? Particle. Uh, what? Okay, very good. And then comes after that is, of course, what do we want to say about Maria? For example, mm -hmm. Maria is a gakusei. So gakusei means gakusei. student. Gakusei, gakusei means gakusei. student. And then we add this to make the sentence polite. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean if I say Maria wa gakusei des? Maria wa gakusei des. Uh, okay, what does student. that mean? Okay, very good. Very simple. Maria mm -hmm. is a student. Okay, what if I want to talk about myself? What is me in Nihongo? This is me earlier. Forgot, my God. Mm, okay, me in Nihongo means watashi. 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 So I wa, want to be the top. Okay, wa. very good. Okay. Gakusei. Gakusei des. So what does this mean? Watashi wa gakusei des. Mm, what does that mean? Okay, very good. Very simple. So do we have questions? No. How do I say? I say no, but I have a question. <laughs> How, because yes. I don't have a question of the pattern, but I want to add more. Mm -hmm. How do I say I am a student of Japanese language? I am studying Japanese. Okay, very good. I really like students who are very curious. Now we will go to the next pattern to answer your question. Uh, okay. 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 So it is very easy. Second pattern we have to study is noun one wa, noun two, za mm -hmm. arimasen. Mm -hmm. To make the sentence negative, all we have to do is replace this with ja arimasen. Okay? So, this means that noun one is not noun two. So, okay, let's try. A while ago, we said that Maria wa, wa. gakusei des. Mm -hmm. This is what we have studied earlier. This says that Maria... Okay, very good. That Maria is a student. Now, to make the sentence negative, all we have to do is replace this with ja arimasen. Gakusei ja arimasen. Okay, very good. So what does this mean now? Maria wa gakusei ja arimasen. What does this mean? Maria wa gakusei. Maria what does is this mean? Okay, very good. Very simple. To make the sentence negative, all we have to do is replace this with ja arimasen. Do we have a question? Are we clear? Uh, we are clear, yes. Okay, yes. very good. Okay. So yes. we're going to stop here. Very good presentation. I really like the didactic that you put. I really like uh, how do you make it Festival to the student to understand the pattern. You take you have a pattern that is very clear. Um, maybe for didactic, didactic is better to have more repetition of the word you are teaching. Okay, um, thank you very much. Work on maybe. I mean, the topics are very specific, but maybe it is better to have uh, teaching me one pattern well and then move. I think. Well, you're assuming that you, you're, I am a student that's continually learning uh, Japanese, right? But if I'm yes. not, <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe it was better idea to have me from, I'm going to teach you with, you, knowing that you don't have this vocabulary and they introduce to me the vocabulary with the pattern. So I can oh, learn yes. the two repetition, both of them. Oh, yes, thank I you. like your material, I like your versatility, I like the flexibility you put on it. I think you are very engaging. I think you have a very approachable voice. You have Thank a very, you, you, at least to the camera, maybe in person is 
you're more dynamic, but you cannot be very dynamic. And thank you. You obviously have a lot of examples and ideas because you have experience teaching. Okay. Thank you very much. So what we are going to do now is I am going to write my assessment to my boss. Mm -hmm. For them to evaluate my assessment, I'm going to share with them also this video, of course. Mm -hmm. And then you will hear from us in uh, around this week, more sure around this week. Thank you very much. Galvez, do you have yes. any question for me? Mm. Um, as of now, I don't have any question. What I just really feel is just I'm really happy given this opportunity. I'm happy to work. And happy I look to forward work. to work with you. Wonderful. That is great. Okay, Galicia, I have to leave you now because I got another applicant for another teaching position. Uh, we are hiring. Thank you very much. <laughs> very nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye bye.